and those that are joining us in the in the uh, in our platforms i also welcome you and as you have done so today the lord will heal the sick all the petition the lord will grant it unto everyone in jesus name all our request the lord will grant it unto us in jesus name so it's that the topic that the Lord wants me to speak with you is uh, I is in line with a, a, a vision I had about one month or one and a half months ago. I I had a, a dream that I went to a, a station, railway station, waiting for train to come. And the train came. As it, as it came, I thought it would not even stop. Even till uh, by the time he stopped, I cannot see the head and I cannot see the tail, which shows how long the train is. The head was, I cannot see where the engine is. I cannot see the, the end of the train. So, and uh, when it came, I found myself inside the train. I sat down with some people in my seat. And then after some time, some of the people that I met in the train came down. Some came down. They said they, 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 they want to uh, refresh themselves or they just want to look around. They came down from the train. And then after some time, the train whistled. That is, you know, when the train wants to take off, it will whistle. We blow whistle that to tell the people who are uh, in the ground to enter. So there I was say, ah, this sister, that dear brother that came down, he has not come. I was looking for them, and that was how uh, the the revelation. So now all the time it has been coming to me to tell you about this train. This train is the gospel of Christ for salvation. This train is the, is the train that, is, that want to take people to heaven. So I'm asking you today, are you prepared to board that train? And you that are in the train to stay put, not to go down. And those that are down, they will find their way in into the trade because the time has come. As Revelation 22 12 states, and behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to their works. And Genesis 7 1 says, then the Lord said to Noah, Come unto the ark, you and all your household, because I have seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. Now, I want to tell you that what happened at that time, in the, when Noah was asked to build the ark, that there will be rain, there will be uh, rain that will flood the whole nation. And it was asked to build an ark, and it was telling people, because of the atrocity that was going on then, they, they, they were laughing at him, they, they, was, they scorned him, they did not listen to him. Even some of his relatives, they never, they didn't, they, they, they didn't, they, they didn't take him serious until, and this happened for 100 years, until when the, the rain came. And when the rain started, the, 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 the door of the ark was closed. That many people came, those that are related to him, calling him Noah, Noah. Don't you know me again? Open the door. Because they now saw that what he has been saying for the over 20, uh, uh, 100 years is, uh, has come to reality. And that 
and he did not open the ark again because he immediately closed it he cannot open because of the flood it has already started so my brothers and my sisters such a thing is coming the time for the lord who said in uh, that uh, revelation 22 12 that i come quickly yes that was said 2020 years ago now very very soon it may be tonight or tomorrow morning we may not you, you, you he will not tell you when he will come he said he will come as a thief and and at that time there will be no you there will be no uh, chances you better enter into the train now god has shown it to us that that train is already blowing you are blowing whistle that anybody who hear this message prepare to board the train and look 30 20, 24 to 28 says strive to enter through the narrow gate for many i say to you we seek to enter and will not be able when once the master of the house has risen up and shall shut the door and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door saying lord lord open for us and he will answer and say to you i do not know you where you are uh, where you are from then you will begin to say we are we ate and drank in your presence and you taught in our streets but he will stay till you he will, he will say tell you i do not know you where you are from depart from me all you workers of iniquity there will be weeping and snatching of teeth when you are when you see abraham and uh, isaac and jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of god and yourselves trust out you can see there he said we should strive from the beginning of that luke 13 24 let's strive to enter through the narrow gate for many i say to you we seek to enter and will not be able and will not be able so it is now that i am advising you all that you are hearing me is a strive that is make all possible means you have a part to play try all your best put in all your effort to obey the word of god to obey the directive of god to be able to be qualified how by you must be, be watchful you must know what to keep the gospel especially you that you have heard the gospel that you are in the, already inside the uh, the tray don't try to go out because of the people you see outside they may look they may look doing fine but they will pay for all the evil that they are doing sin is sweet but it has repercussion so i am i am appealing to all of you that you have ever heard the name of jesus christ who have ever given your life to christ to hold on unto him not to allow what you see to detach you from from uh, from from jesus not to allow what you are passing through the wilderness you find yourself the storm that is blowing against you don't ever allow it to detach you that is why paul said what will separate me from the love of christ is it is is is, is, is it the height is it a uh, uh, sickness is it a uh, 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 problem no problem no hunger 
no task that can detach you from the love of God. You must try. There are parts you are going to play by staying on onto the onto the boat, by staying on onto the ship, by staying up, up onto the name of Christ, which you have known, and hold on unto him. And if you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior before, it is right time you have to know that you still have time. And that is why he's blowing the horn. Anyone that can come in now, you are free. But in the time it moves, by the time it takes off, nobody can come in it again. That is when the master has shut the door and people will find it difficult to come in. And I will read also 2 Corinthians 6, 17 to 18, that says, Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what, what is unclean, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. The Lord says, you, anybody who wants to make heaven, must separate himself from the things of the world, from the people of the world, must separate himself. When Abraham was about to be, to, 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 to be called, to, to, be, to, 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 to be separated, to, 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 to move to the land of Canaan, God told him, leave your father's house, leave your mother's house, leave your clan, leave your people. You need to leave those you need to leave. Anyone that is not of Christ is your you you need to depart, you need to detach yourself from them. Anyone that do not believe that Christ is the Lord, that Christ is our Savior, that Christ died, that he was that he died, and he, on the third day he rose up with uh, on the third day and now seated at the right hand side of the Father, and that he's coming back again. He went there to prepare a place for us. Anyone that do not believe all this, you have to depart yourself from them. And anyone that do not believe in holiness, because without holiness, no one can see the Lord. You have to depart from uh, rottenness, from the love of the world, from the things that pollutes the, 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 that pollutes the world. So you must separate yourself from them all. My brothers and my sisters, you must come out from the world. Anyone that is not of God, that you know is not of God, it will pollute. It will pollute you. It will defile you. Genesis 12, 1 says, now the Lord has said to Abraham, God, get out your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. That was what God told Abraham. Get out from your father's house. Get out from your father's house, from your country, from your family, and from your father's house. I told the land that I will show you. You, if you want to make heaven, you must get out from where you are to move to the, to the, to the people of God, to those that are serving the God, Lord in truth and in spirit. Not all that glitters are gold. Not because of the crowd. Not, don't go with the crowd. Go with the world. That, that place where the world is being, is being, uh, is being, uh, is, is being taught in truth and in spirit. Raw. Not uh, 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 preaching uh, prosperity. I'm telling you, my brothers and my sisters, Every power, any church that is preaching only prosperity, tell, I'm telling you, he is not of God. When Christ came, he did not preach prosperity. He did not preach it. He preached the kingdom of God. That was why he said, we should seek first the kingdom of God and, and his righteousness. And every other thing will be added. It is God that will Add what he wants to add to you. Then you yourself, 
Seek him first. Seek the kingdom of first, God first. Seek his righteousness first. Live a holy life. Re live a righteous life. And you will see the Lord will bring to you uh, uh, with all the, 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 the things that you needed. Let, let me tell you. I, I, I want to tell you, uh, uh, this is, I never thought of this, but uh, let me tell you, many people think of uh, uh, of, of, of riches. Riches is not, is, is one thing. God will give it to you, but you must perfect your life first in Him. Amen? As I'm here today, there are so many things when I was working, when I was really in active work, all that I could not do at that time, I couldn't achieve. Is what I achieve now after my retirement. At that time, I was serving the Lord, and even when I built a house, I built it to a certain stage at that time, and someone went and sold the house, took it away from me. But because of family uh, a relationship, and I don't want anything that will be caught court case, because God did not, Jesus said, when someone take your coat, don't go to court. Just give him your 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 the 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 the, 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 the trousers and, and let him go. Because you can't go to the to the to the court and say, your, your my, my lord, my, your majesty, you begin to bow down for an unbeliever who sat down there as a judge. God did not want us to go to court. He said, give give it to him. And that is why I said, it's okay, I'm giving all this. I, 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 I didn't want to, 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 to go too far in that case, but I told my children, I remember I told my children on that day, I know I will not die under the bridge. The God that I serve will do it that I will, I will, I will not die under the bridge. And it was after I my 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 retirement, God started to bless me, and where I am today, that God has blessed me. He has given me a, a, a house. He has given me a, now even then that I could not feed myself when I was working at a, 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 a in my own capacity. Now that I do not work, I can give. It is now that I have abundance that I can give out. To people, what I cannot do when I was working, to know that there's no, there's nothing God cannot do. My brothers and my sister, it is not you that can make things work. If the only thing, get yourself hooked to God, and God will do what He wants to do. We perform His wonders in your life. Genesis 19, 1917. So it came to pass when they had brought them outside that he said escape to your life do not look behind you nor stay anywhere in the in the plane escape the escape to the mountains lest you be destroyed that was the time lot was delivered from sodom and gomorrah even from that dangerous place because lot separated himself he did not leave as the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. He, he, he did not corrupt himself. He did not, he himself and the wife and the, the, even at that time, with the three daughters that he had, they, they, uh, they, 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 they were virgins. With the two daughters they have, they were, they were virgins that were still with him. There was nothing which one they were pure. You see, that's why in that place it was a, 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 a stinking place, Sodom and Gomorrah, for sins. But God now came, when, he, when the judgment of Sodom and Gomorrah came, God knows how he came and delivered him out. He took him out with his wife, with his the, the, the daughters, and took them and said, don't look back. There is instruction. There must be instruction. God gave instruction, and you must keep to that instruction. And I'm trying to tell you now 
you that you are a believer, that you have known Jesus Christ and your Savior, hold him tight, stay put in the, in the, in the, in the tray, in, in the law. Cook yourself to him. Be righteous. Live a holy life. Be watchful. Be obedient. You and your household. And you, the, the Lord will see you through. Don't join the people of the world. But in that place, the Lord's wife looked back, disobeyed the, uh, the commandment of the, 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 the two uh, um, angels that came to deliver them. And she looked back. Why? Because her heart, her heart was still in Sodom and Gomorrah. She didn't want to leave the place. She didn't want to leave that place. She wanted that place because the place is a place of, she, she was comfortable with the sin of, the, of that land. Many of us, we left the world. We left the world, but we still love all what that is going on in the world. That's why I said in that trade, some people came down. They were inside the trade. Uh, that's, they came down, they said they want to see the environment. They want to, they, they, they were seeing the beauty of the world. They were seeing what is going on. They want to feed their eyes with the things of the world. And when the train now is about to leave, I don't know whether they entered or they didn't enter. But I was looking for them because I know them. They sat beside me before. My brothers and my sisters, be very careful. Don't allow the things of the world to take you out from, from, uh, from him. You are expected to separate yourself as those that keep social distancing from those who have leprosy or any plague and of fear of contacting infection. You see, you can see what is going on now with this coronavirus. This, you are, we were told to keep social distancing so that you will not come near to anybody because you don't know who has who is a carrier. As if you suspect everybody to be a suspect, to be a, 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 a positive carrier and uh, as leprosy that is carrying the plague so that you will not contact that infection and not to be touched by the unclean things. So that you will not be defiled. That was why the Bible told you to depart, to separate yourself, so that you will not be contact, contaminated. You will not be defiled. You cannot move with a... If a, 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 a when I was small, I was told that when a goat moves with a, 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 a dog, that goat, goat, goat doesn't eat feces. It is dog that can eat feces. But if a goat move with uh, with dog, the dog, the goat will eat feces because we practice what his friend is, is, is doing. Note, the company you keep determine your character. My brothers and my sister, the company you keep determine your character. Any company that will not take you to heaven, that is not is not aiming heaven. Anyone that is not aiming heaven, do not have that uh, ability of going to heaven. All that he wants to, all that the, the they are thinking is about making money in this world. It's about enjoying themselves in this world. It's about uh, 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 their right. They want their right. They don't want to be to be to be touched. They don't want. Uh, they don't want to be disturbed. They don't want the 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 the, uh, the word of God does not. It does not sweet in their mouth. Does not. Uh, uh, does not. They are not comfortable with the word of God. You better flee from them. You better flee from them because they will contaminate you. The company you keep will determine your character. You too will begin to behave like them unknowingly. You too will begin to do what they are doing because they are your friends. And your character will now determine your destiny. It is what that character you have now developed 
from that wrong company, from that wrong associate, will not determine your destiny, will not determine your where you are going, whether you, you will make heaven or not. So my brothers and my sisters, making heaven is a choice for one to choose. You have to, you, it is you who will make a, a choice of it. The choice is to, to obey, to obey God and stick to Him. If you stick to God, you obey Him and, and all his, all his, uh, all the words He has spoken, and you hold to your, to, 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 uh, you guard yourself, you watch yourself, then you will make heaven. But when you don't make, you, you cannot, uh, you you cannot uh, sacrifice all those things. You don't want to. You don't want to sacrifice your time to be in the presence of God. Many people they cannot pray. Many people they cannot uh, they cannot worship God. It is the time when they, they let us go to church. They feel uncomfortable. It is then they will say they will, they have something to do. It is then they they will be entertaining people. They call themselves believers, and that is why at this time, when they now online, online uh, uh, church, online church is 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 dangerous. Online church is dangerous because many people they are at home. They don't they don't prepare for church. They don't prepare for God. But when you are you, you when you prepare yourself, you are going to church. You know you are going to church. You, will, you, 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 you have left the home. You have left everything in the home. But we you say you are online church. You, you are still in your home. You, I, one day when I was looking at online church, I was seeing that somebody was going to his uh, kitchen, was taking some, something in the, in the cupboard, was making tea, well, and he's in the, he joined the online church. Is that church? Did he go to church? No! It's not, it's not what you be. When you are online church, you must stay as if you are in the church to attend, to do all that is going on on the on online. Not that you are free to do whatsoever you want to do. That is why it is dangerous, my brothers and my sisters. First John 15 to 17 says, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the loss of the uh, flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the loss of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Abides forever. He that does the will of the Lord abides forever. My brothers and my sisters, you must be crucified to the world and be mortif mortified. You must be mortified, be crucified to the world, to the to the and be mortified to the things of the world. Reject all these things of the world. Don't let them be be your problem. Don't let them be your 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 goal. The heart of man is so narrow. It cannot contain the world and the heaven at the same time. The heart of the man of a man is so narrow that it cannot contain at the same time the world, the love of the world, and the love of God. The two cannot be there. It's either you love God or you love the world. You cannot do the two together. When you love God, you are not you are now connected you are the, his ambassador in the world you are an ambassador in the world it is he who we who, who we have his budget for you who will give his budget for you who will be supplying you all your needs it is you are not you 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 you, you, you are not in the you are not part of the world budget anymore god will supply you what he wants you to enjoy in life because he, he rules in heaven. He rules on earth. He rules below the world. He below the earth. So he, he, there is nothing anyone gets in the world. There's anything you receive that is not given. 
And he is the one that gives. He is the one that gives a perfect gift. Any gift received by the devil, from the devil, is, is counterfeit. Hebrew 4, 13. He, Hebrew 4, 1 to 3. I want to read Hebrews 4, chapter 4, verses 1 to 3. Therefore, since a promise remains a, an, uh, of entering his rest, let us fear, lest any of you seem to have come short of it. For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well as to them. But the word, but the word which they heard did not profit them, not, not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. For we who have believed to enter that rest, as he has said, so I swore in my, my in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Let me tell you, we that we are still there today, I know many people that are we enter, we, we join Jesus' life ministry at the same time. At the same time in 1982. At the same time. But today, they are in the world. They have, they have left. They are in the world. They are no more in the, in the faith. You see? So, and the same thing they heard is what I heard. But what I heard was mixed with faith. And that is why it is profiting me. Amen? That is why I receive all those revelations. Praise the Lord. Matthew 7, 13 to 14 says, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and, diff and difficult is the way which leads to light. And there are few who find it. Do you hear that? That because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way. <laughs> the way of the law is not bread and butter. The way of the law is not bread and butter. Because is for you to keep holiness, righteousness, the, your, your flesh doesn't, cannot, cannot keep it. I told you, sin, it, it, it sweets the flesh. The flesh is happy when it's committing sin. But it's sending you to hell. And that is why if you are being controlled by the flesh, you cannot serve God. It will be difficult for you, but only those who have given their life to God that can go through the gate. You can't go through that gate which is narrow with the load of the world. You must share those things, share those bodies, share those the, 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 the load of the world, the things that is of the world that you carry, so that you can be a member of. The kingdom of God. Matthew 7, 21 to 23 says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in, the, in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name, and then I will declare to them, I never know you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Those are the those one who said they they prophesy, they did uh, wonders, they did miracle. They are the workers of iniquities. Those that went to to to, to wash their face with the water of a, a dead man, dead body, in order that they may be seen. The handkerchief that they put in their hand, they have done in it, soak it with their shrine, 
and uh, when that handkerchief touches anybody, the person will be will be flying like will be rolling on the ground. It's magical. Such people, when they get there, they will say, "We did this in your name." We used to say, "Lie." We say, "I know you know." You that practice lawlessness, my brothers and my sisters, be warned. How do you know them? Know them by the word they speak. Anyone that is preaching prosperity, run away from them. You will receive prosperity. It is God who will give it to you. First of all, be a, a be a, 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 a partner with him. Get yourself hooked to him first. Then he will supply you your needs. He that did what I have today, he that did it, he that did it will do it for you in Jesus' name. What you never expect will come your way in Jesus' name. The only thing, obey. Don't allow the things of the world to take you out of the way. This thing of the world has the beginning, it has an end. But the place where you are going in heaven is for, is, is for eternity. It has no end. We are myself. I know where I am going. I've been there in the spirit before. And I know the Lord will not let me get out from the, from the, from the straight. He will take me there to possess what I have, what God has promised me. And you too, God will give it to you. But don't get up from the, from, the, uh, from the train. Or when you are down, you are not getting the train, get yourself in now before it, the train gets up, before it begins to go, before the door is shut. It may be too, it may be too late if you don't prepare today. Today is the day. I will sing this song. Today is the day of repentance. Today is the day of salvation. If you do delay, tomorrow may be late. If you, you delay, tomorrow may be late. That is danger if you do delay. Thank you, Jesus. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I give thanks to you. I worship you. For the people, for the people that, that you are spoken to this hour, hour Father, Father, let this, let word, this they word they have heard, let it have an impact in their life. Reveal yourself to them that they will not be left out, out of the train. That this train that that has come to take off to your throne, to, to, to the to our heavenly place where you are prepared for us. Father, can't all that are hearing it, either from the, our platform, those in the sanctuary, can them as part of those that we that that that, that we, we benefit we reign with you in your kingdom in jesus name so if there is anyone that is sick i declare you healed in jesus name and your expectation the lord because of his name for his name's sake the lord will grant it unto you in jesus name in Jesus' name we pray.